All right, so what we're going to do is go over the math review problems that you should have done for homework and finish for homework um, from after the test. What I need you to do is take out a calculator, also take out a periodic table, um, and possibly an ion sheet. We're going to be talking about a couple ions as well. All right, now for every single one of these, we always have to write down both the known and the unknown. Okay, and then I'm going to try to show you some of the simple math out to the side. All right, so what we're looking for here first in number one is we're looking for the molar mass. No, I'm sorry, they don't really give us, there's no known values on this one. So what we're looking for is the molar mass of carbon dioxide. Now before we can do that, we have to figure out the formula. Now this prefix here, there's two nonmetals. So my prefix for carbon dioxide is simply going to be CO. Two. Okay, so how we do this is we go to the periodic table, we find carbon, showing you the long way here just as a reminder, and for carbon it's going to be 12.01 grams, there's only one of them. Okay, now for oxygen you have um, the molar mass of oxygen is 16.00, there are two of them. Okay, so we've got 12.01 plus 32 and that's going to end up being, okay, 44.01, and my units are grams per mole. Okay, so that's how we find the molar mass of um, carbon dioxide. All right, now the next one that we have to do for number two, well, there's telling me my known is 4.1 grams of carbon dioxide. That's my known. My unknown is molecules. All right, now as a reminder, when we do these conversion factors, we don't have a direct route to go between 2 grams to molecules. Okay, what we have to go between is moles. So I'm first going to have to go grams to moles of carbon dioxide and then moles to molecules. And again, a lot of you had done this right, so just check your answers and follow along and then we're good to go. Okay, so 4.1 grams of carbon dioxide, same substance we had last section. First thing we got to do is go to moles. So we're going to end up with, we always put the one with the mole for right now, one mole of CO2, molar mass that we already found right here. Because remember, when we find grams per one mole, all we're doing is flipping this whole conversion factor upside down. So we put the one mole on top and the 44.01 grams on the bottom. If you have grams per mole on the bottom, cross that mole off. It's one mole on the top, 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide on the bottom. Make sure everything is labeled. Okay, and then lastly, we now have to go moles to molecules. That's going to be Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Again, one mole. So we cross that off. So to do this math, we take 4.1, we divide it by 44.01, we take that answer. Don't forget to use parentheses or you won't get the correct answer. Multiply it by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Two sig figs in my original um, data. So my final answer here should be 5.6 times 10 to the 23rd and it is molecules of carbon dioxide. I should have labeled that up there as well. Okay, so there's a little bit of our moles to grams review. Now we got to do how many grams are there in 3.45 moles. So our unknown is grams. We've got 3.45 moles of iron 2 nitrate. Now before we can do the math, we got to have a formula. Iron is a 2 plus, nitrate is a 1 minus. So because of that, I need if I crisscross it, iron 2 plus plus. Okay, I need two nitrates, so my formula for iron 2 nitrate has to be FeNO3,2. Now, in order to go from moles to grams, I have to find the molar mass of this whole thing, just like we did in section 1. And to do that, I'm going to take one iron, which is 55.05. I need two nitrogens, because this 2 distributes to the whole thing, so two N's and six O's. Okay, so I need one of those, oops, one of those, two of those, and six of those. If I add all of that up, I should get 179.87, again, it's grams per one mole. So now let's set this up. I've got 3.45 uh, moles of iron 2 nitrate. 
I want to go two grams, so I put the one mole of iron two nitrate on the bottom, and I put my 179.87 grams of iron two nitrate on the top. Okay, remember it's grams per mole, so that's where the unit comes from. Now what I end up doing, bring this off here. Math wise, take 3.45 times 1.7, sorry, 179.87, so that my final answer here, three significant figures in my data. Okay, my final answer is going to end up being 600. And 21 grams of iron 2 nitrate. Okay, this video is also on eChalk if you want to watch it again um, in order to slow it down a little bit, okay? All right, then for number four, the next one that we've got, we want to know how many moles are there in 2.99 micrograms, that should say of iron 2 nitrate. Um, now, micro, remember, is part of all those unit conversions. If you go back to the eChalk, um, I put that unit conversion sheet there on purpose. So we have to do one step. Now we have we want to know we want to go we ultimately want moles and we start with micrograms. That's my known. You guys should have written the known and unknown. I just didn't have space here. So what I have to do is I'm still going to need the molar mass to go moles to grams, but what I have to do first is I have to go micrograms to grams then grams to mole. So these metric prefixes are going to come back in a big way in this unit. So we need to make sure we're keeping those straight. So I start with 2.99 micrograms. There are in one gram, there are 10 to the sixth micrograms. Actually, I should have all this labeled. So of iron to nitrate, of iron to nitrate. And then I want to go two moles. So once I get rid of the micrograms, which I'll do here in a second, I have to go two moles. And remember, what I have to do, the one goes with the mole. Okay, the one is going to go with the mole. Now instead of multiplying by 179.87 grams like I did up above, I'm going to divide by 179.87 grams because this time I'm going grams to moles instead of going, um, you know, two grams. So I have to remember, I flip it upside down based on what I'm going to and what I'm coming from. So math-wise, I take 2.99, divide it by 10 to the 6th, take that answer, divide it by 179.87. Now, if you do this on your calculator, you have to put it in scientific notation because it doesn't give you enough significant figures. I have to have three significant figures. My final answer here needs to be 1.66 times 10 to the negative 8th moles of iron to oops, nitrate. Okay, and the only way to do that is to make sure your calculator is in scientific notation. If you can't remember how to do that, I will show you. Okay, last but not least, we've got a multi-stepper. Okay, and what we're going to end up doing here, we have to go atoms to kilograms. So here's my known, and I have to go to kilograms. So if I come back up to my chart here for just a second, I'm going to have to go atoms or molecules. I do atoms to moles first, then moles to grams, and then grams. This time we're going to kilograms. Okay, so we got to set up a multi-step problem. So what I'm going to have on this one is, and this is going to be phosphorus, which we'll bring into play here in just a second. So I'm going to do this down here so I have plenty of space. I've got 7.21 times 10 to the 43rd why those are disappearing on me, um, atoms of phosphorus. Now here's the trick, we find phosphorus is P4. I'm not going to change Avogadro's number, but I do find it in nature that way, and that's going to come into play here in just a second. Now I've got to use Avogadro's number, one mole of phosphorus is going to have 6.022, and I guess we should say atoms slash molecules because it's the same thing. We're still going to be able to um, convert it just the same, times 10 to the 23rd. Um, we'll say molecules, it's probably what that should have said, but um, it's okay. 
All right, molecules of P4. So that gets us from atoms, or molecules rather, to moles. Now the next step I have to do is go moles to grams. So I'm, the one mole of phosphorus is going to go on the bottom. However, when I find the molar mass, I have to find the molar mass of phosphorus on the periodic table, which is 30.97, multiply it by 4. So that's going to give me 123.88 grams of phosphorus, and then I'm still not done. Then I have to take my answer and remember the fact that there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So if I do this all on my calculator, because I don't have it done, 7.21 times 10 to the 43rd, divide using parentheses, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, I'll take that answer, multiply it by 123.88, I take that answer and divide it by 1,000. And three significant figures right here, three sig figs in my answer. I'm going to write it up here so that you can see it. I should end up with 1.48, should be 0.48, times 10 to the 19th kilograms of phosphorus. Okay, hopefully that all came flooding back. Um, you need to go ahead and take out your notes because we're going to get going on the next section of um, Unit 9. Okay, hope that helps.